Okay, I think we're live now, Amanda. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, hey to everyone who might be in this room right now. Um, I'm Amy Christensen. I'm an admission counselor at DePaul. I'm joined with my colleague, Amanda. Amanda, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So hi, everyone. Um, I know I told a couple people that I was chatting with to come in, so hopefully you guys do. Um, but I'm Amanda. I am one of um, the admission counselors at DePaul, but I am actually regionally based out of the New York City metro area. So I don't live in Chicago. I live in out of the East Coast. And so we have some others that are based out of the different regions of the country as well. But I'll be helping to answer the chat and discussion while Amy here um, gives the presentation. So you might see me pop in and out. Um, and that's why. <laughs> Yeah, and Amanda, please let me know if anything weird happens with the presentation piece at all while I'm sharing my screen. Um, thank you for being here, Amanda. I appreciate it. And again, thanks to everyone tuning in. We'll we'll get into kind of the nitty gritty of DePaul University while you're here. So I'm going to go ahead and move myself into what I hope will be full screen mode. Amanda, if you can give me a verbal, is this full screen now for everyone? Um, Do you know? It's like half screen. <laughs> Is it better if I just leave it like this, you think? Probably, yes. <laughs> All right. We're not going to go full screen mode, everyone. Um, thanks again for being here. Um, and we'll get started then with just some general background information about DePaul University. So uh, DePaul was founded in the year 1898. In 1898, DePaul had 78 students. I'm not sure if any of you have any idea what the size of DePaul is today, but you'll notice on the screen, hopefully, you see a big number one, and that says underneath it, we are the largest Catholic university in the nation with 23,000 total students at DePaul. So again, 1898, we only had 78 students, and now we're about 23,000 total students for undergraduates. So for undergraduate students, freshmen through seniors, we're actually about 14,000 students, which puts us right in the mid-size um, institution, right? Um, DePaul itself, being a Catholic university, we have this primary mission of teaching and of service. Um, so you will find if you do attend DePaul, as you learn more information about us, we're really going to encourage you to think a little bit deeper about how you, with your talents and your interests, can really impact your communities. Um, around 39% of students at DePaul identify as Catholic, and there are over 30 faith traditions represented on campus. Um, so we do still have a relatively diverse student body and people coming from all 50 states and 111 countries worldwide. So again, those are just some background um, foundational knowledge for you as you begin this college search process. This slide here has what we call the three E's. Um, and the three E's of DePaul are our education, our environment, and our ethos. Um, I like to say that the three E's are the three most essential things to a DePaul experience. Education, what can you study at DePaul? Environment, what does studying at DePaul look like? And ethos, that driving Catholic mission, how does that infuse itself in our environment and in our education at the university? So I would encourage you as you go throughout your college search process tonight at this fair, next week, a couple of months from now, to think about what's most essential to you in the college that you want to go to. Is it that they have a program you want to study? That's probably going to be pretty important. Is it that they have this driving mission, this um, mission-centered uh, education? Is it that it's located somewhere that you like? Whatever it might be, maybe it's a couple of things. Just keep that in the back of your mind as you go throughout the search process. I think it'll be helpful for you. Now, the 23,000 students at DePaul fall within one of the 10 schools and colleges you see now listed on the screen. DePaul's largest college is going to be our Dry House College of Business. Um, this is going to be the college where you find programs like marketing, real estate, uh, accountancy, um, management, hospitality. Uh, we also have an actuarial science program within the College of Business. The cool thing about the College of Business um, is actually where it's located. So I don't know if I said this earlier, but DePaul University is located in Chicago, Illinois. In Chicago, we have two campuses. One is in the Loop. The other one is in Lincoln Park. Both of those are neighborhoods of the city of Chicago. And we'll get to a slide that kind of talks about what that looks like as well. 
But the College of Business is located in what's considered the business district, the loop of the city of Chicago. So you as a business student will be taking courses steps away from different, um, you know, organizations and companies in the city of Chicago. Lots of your faculty are going to be currently working in the city as well. Um, and as a business student, you're going to be encouraged to get that real world experience to intern, right, while you're studying with us in Chicago. So um, just kind of keep that in mind. That's, I think, a real benefit of studying in the city and studying business at DePaul specifically. As a business student, you'll also be asked to take what's called business core classes. So if you study, for example, accountancy, you'll also have to take a marketing class. So you understand what your peers, um, you know, down the hall are doing in the marketing department um, and vice versa, of course. So um, business, again, largest college at DePaul. On our website, you can see all the different majors um, and minors that we offer within that college if you're interested. Our College of Communication is where you're going to find programs like journalism. The largest program here is going to be public relations and advertising. You'll also find sports communication, media and cinema studies, communication studies. This college is also located at the Loop campus, so you'll be steps away um, from different news outlets in the city of Chicago, different media organizations, ad firms, right? Um, the College of Communication also houses our student newspaper, which is called the DePaulia. The DePaulia publishes regularly in English and in Spanish. So if you're someone who speaks Spanish and you want to get the chance to actually write in Spanish, you can as a student um, at DePaul. Amanda? Are you supposed to be on the major slide? Yeah, is it on something else? It's on the first slide still. How? I don't know. <laughs> Bear with me, everyone. You're still getting good information here. Um, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I was like, wait, she's talking about Dreehouse. <laughs> I almost just want to like not even have the presentation. I don't yeah, know. Let's, let's just have let's a chat. Just, we're just going to go back to making this nice and casual for everyone. Um, thanks for letting me know, Amanda. I saw you pop in there. Um, anyway, we're on our College of Communication, right? Uh, the College of Communication, again, public relations and advertising, journalism, media and cinema studies. We have our DePaulia, our student newspaper. We also have a radio station. We have a broadcast show you can be on as well, as well as a magazine called 14 East. So depending again on what you wanna get involved in in the communication field, you'll be able to get that real world experience as a DePaul student, whether it's in DePaul's College of Communication or also in the city itself. Um, you can write for the DePaulia, be on the radio station, even if you're not studying in the College of Communication as well. Now, the College of Computing and Digital Media is actually another college DePaul has. You're not seeing the screen here, so you can't see it as I do. Um, but the College of Computing and Digital Media is the fastest growing college at the university. This is where you'll find programs, our largest program, film and television. You'll find cybersecurity, computer science, um, animation, graphic design, anything computing and digital media based. This college is also located at the Loop Campus. Um, the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences is another large college at DePaul. This is where you'll find programs like sociology, um, philosophy, history, writing and rhetoric. Um, we have criminology as well, applied diplomacy, the liberal arts and social sciences. As a DePaul student, you will be asked, no matter what you decide to study, to take liberal studies curriculum at DePaul. Uh, so that will be, you know, your general education courses. Um, that is housed within the College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Our College of Science and Health is another college DePaul has. This is going to be a college where you find programs in neuroscience, biology, chemistry, psychology. Um, if you're someone who's interested, I know we already had a student in the discussion ask about um, pre-med. We also have a pre-med, which we call pre-health program at DePaul, um, which is really a way for you to get additional assistance in preparing yourself for medical school one day or for a career in the health field. Um, so you can tack that pre-health, um, if you will, concentration um, onto any major at DePaul. But we do find, of course, that many students in our College of Science and Health um, have that sort of concentration as a part of their curriculum at the university. So just keep that um, in mind. DePaul does have a lot of students who choose to study things in biology and psychology and chemistry. Um, a cool thing about DePaul's College of Science and Health, if you are someone interested in the health field, is our college is primarily undergraduate student heavy, um, meaning there are more undergraduate students studying within that college than there are 
graduate students. So if you're someone who's interested in receiving the opportunity to do research as a student at DePaul, you will get that as a part of your undergraduate curriculum, which is something that's kind of unique. So just keep that in mind. DePaul also has a College of Education. So if you're someone who's interested in being a teacher one day, we have programs in middle grades, education, secondary education, special education, um, early childhood. We also have an exercise science program, which is housed in our College of Education. I currently am a graduate student in the College of Education, so it's one that I particularly like. Um, but you are, again, still going to get that real-world experience. You'll teach in the classroom as a part of your program at DePaul. Um, we have programs where you can graduate in five years with a master's and a bachelor's degree, both in the College of Education, but also outside of it, too, if you're interested in those. DePaul also has two conservatory style schools at the university. So one is our theater school and the other is our school of music. Um, these are conservatory style, which mean that um, they'll be very focused in the art of acting or the art of jazz studies, right? Um, and you also, as a student in one of those schools, will put on productions throughout the year and those productions are completely student run. So it's a really great, again, hands-on experience of you um, being an actor, being a musician in the city of Chicago. Um, DePaul also has a College of Law. Uh, the College of Law does have an honors program attributed with it called the 3 plus 3 program. This allows you, if you are admitted to it, to graduate in six years with both a bachelor's degree and a law degree from DePaul. Um, if that's something you're interested in, you can easily Google 3 plus 3 program DePaul and it'll list all the different majors that are a part of that. Um, I'll also mention here that we do have an honors an honors pre-health program called Pathway Honors. This offers a connection to Roslyn Franklin Medical School, which is located in North Chicago, where students who are a part of it do have the opportunity to apply early to particular medical programs that that uh, medical school offers. So that's called Pathway Honors. We also have an honors program that is our honors liberal studies curriculum at DePaul. It is called the honors program, uh, and that will offer more rigorous general education coursework. The last honors program I'll just briefly touch on is in our business college. That is our Strobel Accountancy Honors Program for budding accountants. It does have a really great connection with the big four accounting firms within the city of Chicago. So sorry you're not seeing my screen here. Um, so you can see all the colleges and schools listed. We're just having some tech issues. But again, hopefully this still offered you um, a little glimpse of all the different programs DePaul has. There are over 130 different majors, over 300 academic programs. There are lots and lots of things to study at DePaul. If I didn't mention a major that you're interested in, definitely check our website um, because we probably do offer it one way or another. And we're happy, of course, Amanda and I to answer any questions as we kind of go throughout the night here, if you do have them. Um, now, another important thing about DePaul, um, as you look at colleges and schools, is DePaul is on what's called the quarter system. Uh, so we break up our academic year into four, whereas most colleges and schools that you'll find out there break it up into two, a semester-based system. Now, the quarter system at DePaul kind of runs a little bit closer to a trimester system because we do not require you take classes in the summer quarter. So a full academic year at DePaul runs September until June. And um, within September to June, there are three different quarters you would be a part of. So fall quarter, which runs September to November, winter quarter, which runs January through March, and spring quarter, which runs March through June. Typically in a quarter, you would take four classes. You can take five. And the quarter system just allows a little bit more flexibility for you as a student. It'll be a little bit easier to double major, um, take classes outside of your major, study abroad, right? Um, it's just a little bit more of a flexible system. Also, fun perk of the quarter system is typically you won't have classes on Fridays, um, at DePaul at least, um, unless you did study something in the sciences when you would be um, probably in a lab-based course on Fridays. But most DePaul students actually don't have classes then, so keep that in mind. Um, if you have more questions about the quarter system, definitely ask, um, but just keep in mind that's something about DePaul. Now, the thing I'm really sad that I'm going to, should I try to share my screen again? I just want to show you all a picture. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot here. Hopefully it pops up. Um, on my screen, I see that you see this picture. So hopefully you do. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it is a picture of the city of Chicago. Amanda, can you see it? Okay, great. Um, on here, you'll see noted Lincoln Park and Luke.
as I mentioned earlier, we have two campuses in the city, one in Lincoln Park and one in the Loop. And this picture gives you a good idea of what those two campuses look like. Um, so Lincoln Park is a neighborhood on the north side of the city of Chicago. Um, you'll notice it's kind of the bottom half of the screen here. There's trees, there's grass, there's green space, right? Lincoln Park definitely has a neighborhood feel. It will still feel very urban, uh, but it is located in the city of Chicago. And there's definitely just more grass and more space up in that community. The Loop campus is what you see kind of on the top half of the screen here, the big tall buildings, right? Myself, I'm from Michigan originally, came to Chicago to study. I always thought before I had visited Chicago that Chicago was just all big tall buildings, and it is, but it also has all these really great neighborhoods, Lincoln Park, um, among others. The Loop campus, again, is where if you study something in business, communication or computing and digital media, that is where you would take your major courses. If you study anything else at DePaul, say education, theater, music, um, science and health, you'll be up in Lincoln Park. It's very common though for DePaul students to be on both campuses as a part of their education journey at DePaul. We do give you a ticket to the train, um, which you see at the bottom of the screen here. In Chicago, we call it the L. Um, you'll get a ticket, which will give you unlimited rides on the train as long as you're a full-time student at DePaul. So you, it's about 20 minutes between DePaul's two campuses, um, but there is so many other neighborhoods to explore as part of your DePaul experience. So we'll get you out there too. Um, to again, just be more acclimated with the city of Chicago. And that ticket to the train really helps because it's unlimited free rides. Now, DePaul also has 12 residence halls. 11 of the 12 residence halls are up in our Lincoln Park campus community. One of them is pictured on the slide here, um, but we do have 12 options for you. We also do not have a residency requirement. So you do not have to live on campus at DePaul. Typically in a non-COVID year, we would see about 73% of first year students choose to live on campus. Um, I'm gonna hope that if I go to the next slide, maybe you'll still see it. Um, and this slide here kind of highlights really great things the city of Chicago has. Um, so theater, food, my favorite part of the city is the lake, um, Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan itself is about one mile from where DePaul is located in Lincoln Park. So it's a great walk down to the lake. Um, this slide also highlights what I like to think of our Discover and Explore Chicago class. So for all incoming first year students, we require you to take a class about the city of Chicago. Um, you can take it in some of the topics you see listed on this slide here. You can take it in things like nonprofits in the city of Chicago, green spaces in the city, social justice in the city, journalism, right? Lots of different topics, but it's gonna be your class that introduces you to DePaul and introduces you to the city. So we'll get you out there experiencing different neighborhoods, um, figuring out how to ride the train and get around and things like that. So that's called, again, Explore and Discover Chicago. You can totally Google that and find more information as well. Um, but just keep in mind, that's that's actually one of my favorite things DePaul does as a part of our first year programming is really integrating you into our community, but also Chicago's community. Another thing that's important when you're looking at colleges is are there things for you to do outside of academics. DePaul being in the city of Chicago, our students are really involved in the city, whether they're working, interning, um, doing research somewhere, just having fun. The city of Chicago will be a big part of your DePaul experience. But DePaul also puts on a lot of really great things for students. We have over 350 clubs and organizations. Um, these are completely student run. They range from club soccer to uh, service based organizations to acapella groups, um, you name it, right? Gaming organizations. There will be probably at least one that you want to be a part of. And if there isn't, you have the ability as a student at DePaul to start your own. Um, DePaul, being a Catholic institution, is really passionate, again, about service. Um, we have a number of different service opportunities throughout a given academic year for you to take part in. Things like service trips that happen during breaks. Things like you are spending your afternoon at a soup kitchen. DePaul actually has their own soup kitchen as a part of our St. Vincent de Paul Parish. Um, so there will be ways, again, that will encourage you to get out there and give back in our community and also the greater Chicago community as well. 
DePaul also has a campus recreation center. If you can see my screen, it's the top brick building um, on the right hand side there. Um, it's our Raymeyer Fitness Center. It's four stories. There's a swimming pool, a racquetball court, um, group fitness rooms on the very top. There's a track that has a great view of the city of Chicago. So again, we're going to encourage you to stay active while you're at DePaul as well. DePaul is also a Division I um, athletic school. We have a number of different sports teams you can support as a student at the university. You will receive free tickets to those games. And DePaul also has the music and theater school, which are conservatory style programs. You will also um, be able to support them um, while you're a student at DePaul, if you're not, of course, in the productions. Back to kind of the Catholic portion of DePaul. Um, for the average student at the university, the Catholic piece is really going to look like, again, that commitment to social justice and to community service. Um, we at the university have over 30 faith traditions represented. We have different faith leaders that are employed by DePaul to help students um, along their uh, spirituality journey while at the university. We also have lots of different programming that DePaul puts on to encourage conversations to occur um, across different religious traditions. At the university, as well as a part of the liberal studies program, we will ask you to take some religious studies courses. Um, and those courses range um, from Catholic-based courses to courses in Buddhism. Um, I think a student once told me there was a yoga class that counted for that. So there'll be lots of ways for you to engage with your own faith um, and maybe learn a a little bit about other faiths um, while you're at DePaul as well. Now, the last thing I'll talk about here um, is how to apply to DePaul. So DePaul is on the common application. That common application you can use to apply, I think, to over 800 colleges and universities worldwide, uh, DePaul being one of them. So you would fill that out. You'd send that in to us. In addition to that, we'll need a high school transcript and what's called a school report that comes from your school counselor. DePaul has been, since 2012, a test optional institution. And what that means is that you don't have to send in an ACT or SAT score to be considered for admission while at the university. Um, the first deadline for any seniors who might be watching this is going to be November 15th. If you can get that common application, that high school transcript into us by November 15th, you will hear back with an admission decision by December 15th this year. Um, if you can't apply by then, that's okay. We have another deadline of February 1st, but applying early is gonna be a benefit to you because you'll hear back earlier and you'll also be in highest consideration for our merit-based scholarships. Our merit-based scholarships, you'll be automatically considered for when you apply, whether you apply with a test score or without, and those range from $15,000 to $24,000 a year. Another important thing, of course, is financial aid. The FAFSA for any seniors opened October 1st. If you're able to fill out the FAFSA, send that on in to us. If you are admitted to DePaul, you will, you will receive your financial aid package sometime in the spring, um, and that's when you would know what the full cost of your DePaul education would be. Um, we do also have um, some service-based and leadership-based additional scholarships you can apply for if you apply by November 15th. Um, now, the theater school and school of music, if you are seeing my screen, have different deadlines. Um, December 1st for the school of music programs um, and December 1st for the theater school's program in acting and stage management and February 1st for all of the other programs in the theater school. They also require that you send in a common application and a high school transcript, but they're also going to ask for some additional documents from you, things like um, pre-screen videos, portfolios, um, kind of et cetera, et cetera. Definitely check their website if you are interested in programs within those two schools. Um, but hopefully that was just a nice overview of DePaul. Um, if there's anything that's still not making sense, Amanda and I are here right now to answer questions and we'll also be in the in the booth um, after this presentation is over. We do have about five minutes now. Amanda, has there been any questions you'd want to answer or anything you'd um, like to add? Just I um want to add that in the discussion I put a link to so we don't automatically capture your information from coming into our presentation so um, we put a link to um, a info sheet and a like inquiry card if you remember the good old days of college fairs um, so it's under my post from 15 minutes ago it says connect.depaul.edu it's that link if you could just um, fill out your information, that would be great, though I've kind of been keeping um, tabs on who's been here. Um, but yeah, um, but there were some questions about 
um, sociology, um, psychology majors, um, as well as animation. Um, but I did put the link for that. So if anybody does have any questions, feel free to put it in the discussion or meet us over in our booth and you'll get about 10 minutes with us. So um, we're, we're, we are happy to help in any way we can for the next hour or so. Yeah, thanks, Amanda. And again, thanks to all of you. It looks like there's 20, 20 people here. So thanks for being here. This is great. Um, uh, I, I guess I would say, DePaul, if you're wondering about like specific programs at the university, um, we do have what's called our academic catalog. I might try to drop that link. I like push this so much because I think it's so fun. Um, but this academic catalog, I'm going to drop it in the discussion, um, will allow you to um, search for every program DePaul has and you'll be able to see specifically what classes you would be taking for those programs. So if you're wondering again about sociology, animation, psychology, if you go to that link I just dropped, um, catalog.depaul.edu, you search that there, you'll see all of the courses again, all the classes offered for those programs. Um, there was a question about, do I consider DePaul to be diverse? DePaul is about 45% uh, of students at DePaul identify as being a student of color. It's something, of course, DePaul is always trying to improve and work on. Um, we have different cultural offices on campus. We have um, a women's center at DePaul. We have a Black Student Union and Latinx Student Center, among others. Um, so we do try to make sure our campus feels safe and comfortable for students at the university. Um, and if you have more questions about that, we're happy to talk about it um, kind of offline, if you will. Um, and we can always connect you with, with staff members who work in, in these offices at DePaul too, if you are curious to learn more. Thank you for that question. It looks like we have about four minutes left. We'll definitely hang out in here until uh, maybe we're kicked out of the room. I don't know what'll happen. Um, so if again, there's questions that are coming up, go ahead and ask them. Um, there was a question about social work. We have a, a master's degree in social work, but we do not have an undergraduate degree in social work at DePaul. Um, I want to say a lot of students interested in social work will major in something in our College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences typically, and then look for those master's programs because you often need a master's degree to practice social work. How good is DePaul's fine arts program? I'm thinking of majoring in illustration. Um, by illustration, do you are you interested in animation at all? Animation is a popular program at DePaul in our College of Computing and Digital Media. Um, we do actually have a really good arts school as well. It's housed within our College of Liberal Arts and Social Sciences. Um, and they actually typically have additional scholarships for students who are interested in art. Um, DePaul has a lot of cool spaces on campus um, to do art. I'm not an artist, which is why I don't know what to say here. Um, but we do have a lot of students interested in art at the university, and we'd be happy, of course, to connect you um, with them, with professors, provide you more context about the programs as well. Um, another thing I'll just say here while, <laughs> while we're here um, is Amanda mentioned that she works with students in the New York metro area. I myself work with students in Ohio, Tennessee, and Kentucky. So if you happen to be from one of those places, I'm happy to meet with you one on one and we can dive into programming. Amanda would do the same, of course, for students in her area. We also have counselors across the US in many different places. So you all have someone assigned to you. So do, um, if you Google like who's my counselor at DePaul, you'll find us. Please reach out with anything too. What advice would we give to a student in the admission process? Um, personally, ask questions. Do it. Any question that you have, right? Reach out to people like Amanda and I. We are paid to help you. Um, so please let us know if we can. That is the biggest advice I can give you. When I went through this process, that's what I did. And it was really helpful to me. And that's why I'm currently doing it for all of you. So do reach out with anything you need. Um, we're about kind of at time here. So if y'all want to maybe go find a, a booth or something, maybe meet us in the DePaul booth after this, feel free to do that now. But thanks again for tuning in um, to our little presentation here and having fun with us with all this technology. Yes, maybe come to one of the DePaul um, info sessions so you can see it when we have it <laughs> correctly. <laughs>
Yes, yes. Come to ours that DePaul hosts. It will work much nicer. <laughs> yes, we, we are pros at Zoom. This this is not Zoom we are currently on. So Yes, yes. <laughs> um, but I will see you and hopefully I get to talk to a few of you in the booth. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.